When we think of stars, we tend to conceive of them of immovable, fixed objects, but stars travel through space just like planets and other objects do. The Earth and all the other planets in our solar system rotate around the Sun, but the Sun also rotates around the center of the Milky Way galaxy once every 225-250 million years. All stars orbit something. Well, except for certain rogue stars astronomer are beginning to discover. Rogue stars, also known as intergalactic stars, are stars which have escaped the gravitational pulls of their home galaxies and travel independently through intergalactic voids. Yeah, they're pretty terrifying. One particular rogue star. Glee 710. In the constellation Serpents. Classified as a rogue star, one that has gone roaming across the galaxy. Free of the gravitational chains that normally hold stars in position, is especially terrifying. It's been known for some time that Glee A710 will eventually pass through our solar system as it careens through the universe. Potentially causing a lot of damage to anything unlucky enough to be in its way. Now, new calculations using the most accurate map of the stars ever created have revealed that Glee E710 might arrive much sooner than we thought. Glee E710 currently is 63.8 light years, 19.6 parsecs, from Earth in and has a below naked eye visual magnitude of 9.69. Stellar classification of K7VK means it is a small main sequence star mostly generating energy through the thermonuclear fusion of hydrogen at its core. Stellar mass is about 60% of the Sun's mass with an estimated 67% of the Sun's radius. It is suspected to be a variable star that may vary in magnitude from 9.65 to 9.69. As of 2017, no planets have been detected orbiting this star. Glee E710 has the potential to perturb the hypothetical low Oort cloud in the outer solar system, exerting enough force to send showers of comets into the inner solar system for millions of years, triggering visibility of about 10 naked eye comets per year, and possibly causing an impact event. According to scientists, this event will be the strongest disrupting encounter in the future and history of the solar system. Earlier dynamic models indicated that the net increase in cratering rate due to the passage of Glee E710 would be no more than 5%. If not, Glee E710 could cause a torrential rain of icy meteors to pelt the Earth into oblivion. The rogue star is set to pass through the Oort cloud, a ring of icy comets, meteors, and planetesimals at the farthest edge of our solar system. This could potentially cause millions of asteroids to be ejected towards the center of the solar system. Belting unfortunate planets into Swiss cheese like a cosmic hailstorm. Maybe immortality isn't so great after all. How worried should we be? Well, unless you're an immortal or plan on becoming immortal, you shouldn't be too worried. Based on the newest calculations, it turns out Glee E710 won't come crashing through our solar system for another 1.29 million years. Plenty of time to finish the Foundation series. 1.29 million years might sound like a long time. But the previous estimate was 1.36 million years, a difference of 60,000 years. Think how many people could escape in 60,000 years. Of course, that is if any people are left in the solar system at all. Hopefully humanity will have found a way out of this hellish simulation by then. Found a way out.